Welcome to Aussie Indian and uh, we are here at uh, the Vedanta Center in Sydney, that's at Armington and we have brought you many interviews from this center and I am very happy to say that uh, Swami Aksharatmanandaji from Colombo has come here for a visit and I am very happy to welcome Swamiji. Welcome Swamiji. Yes. Namaskar. Maybe we haven't heard a lot about the center at Colombo, Ramakrishna Mission Center at Colombo. Uh, can you tell us when the mission started and what are the activities of the mission? In Sri Lanka, the Ramakrishna movement started as early as Swami Vivekananda's visit in 1897. Okay. Gradually, the movement developed. And finally, it took shape in 1930 onwards, like that. That time, in a small scale, Ramakrishna Mission activity started in different places. First in Jaffna, then Trincomalee, then Baticolo, and finally in Colombo. Present Colombo Center started in 1938, like that. Mm -hmm. That time, only the Colombo Center came to existence. And at the same time, in the Baticolo, another sub-center started functioning. The Baticolo center has got two orphanages, one for boys and another one is for girls. Apart from orphanages, they have got some medical work, agricultural work, and for children's, Kindergarten children for the education. Very young. That type of school also mm -hmm. is there. Okay. And Ramakrishna movement started in Sri Lanka by starting 26 schools all over the island, okay. Ramakrishna Mission Vidyalaya. But later on, due to the government policy of nationalization, all the schools were taken by the government. So at present, we don't have any school activity, but this type of extracurricular activity and cultural education activities we are doing continuously. In the day, Colombo Ashrama running a Sunday religious school for the students. And we have got uh, sub-centers, welfare centers in the north at four places. One is at uh, Kilnochi, second one at uh, Vishwamadu, that is near Mulletivu, third one at uh, Urumbrai, in the Jaffna town area, and other one is extreme north, Point Pedro. These welfare centers, they give free coachings to the school children, those who can't afford to have extra coaching by spending their money. They are all backward children and slow learners. So they come to our centers after the school hours, mm -hmm. and they'll have coaching in their school subjects, and they'll get other benefits also. We provide uh, stationaries like exercise books, clothes, and occasionally food also. If people give money for anadana, we will give food also. So in that way, various help we are doing to the children, poor children. And they are given education, cultural values also. They can learn that uh, bhajans, uh, and Swami Vivekananda's, Ramakrishna's teachings also have been taught to them. So that will give you some sort of uh, courage because Swami Vivekananda wanted man-making education. Mm -hmm. By the education, a man is to be created. He is not that uh, syllabus education. Syllabus education is taken care of by the schools. Mm -hmm. But Ramakrishna Mission want to give a little more they call value education, what is known as value education. So in addition to the syllabus education, we are giving this type of value education, that's known as man-making education, they learn. In Colombo Center, we have got another wing, that is known as Sangeet Vivekananda Sangeet Sadhanalaya. Mm -hmm. In that, students come and learn this musical arts, okay. vocal and Pannisai, the Tamil music, Thavara, Thirumurai, Pannisai. Then instrumental musics like violin, veena, and yoga, 
all these things are taught to the students. And other things, our service activities include service during calamities. So during the tsunami calamity, we had done extensive work by providing primary relief and later on house construction. A colony was constructed with the help of various donations from different parts of the country mm. and different parts of the world also. Then recently during the corona epidemic or pandemic, mm -hmm. the people had lost their income and they were stranded without any job and there is no income for them for their bare minimum existence. So that time we provided food packets, that means dry food items provided at various places with the help of volunteers. Thereby we maintained them for one year or two years continuously without any difficulty. Then now during economic crisis also, we are providing this economic relief by providing food items. Some places cooked food also we are given, some places dry food also we are given. Mm. So this is in a nutshell the service activities done by the mission in mm. Colombo and all over the country also. Uh, Swamiji, uh, let's understand your own background. How did you get interested in the mission and when did you join the mission? So originally I am coming from the northern part of Sri Lanka, Jaffna. So after school education I came to Colombo for higher education. During that time, I stayed in the Ramakrishna Mission hostel. Those days, there was a hostel. So during my hostel stay, I came into contact with the Ramakrishna Mission activities. I was regularly attending the evening arati, weekly bhajans, and the weekly discourses. So gradually, I was attracted by the ideal of renunciation and service as preached by Swami Vivekananda. So after completing the education, I wanted to join and I expressed my views to the Swamis there. So he helped me to go to India. At I joined at Bilurmat, our headquarters. First, I was assigned the work of doing a relief work in Andhra, that is the tidal wave. It was like a tsunami. But tsunami is spread over many continents, but tidal wave is concentrated to one area only. But the magnitude of the waves are similar to tsunami only. They are also 30-40 feet height. Oh. Water waves came inside the land. Mm. So I worked in the relief camp for about one and a half years. First primary relief and afterward house construction for the houseless people. Nearly thousand houses and three community shelters. That is a big project. Mm. Lasted about one and a half years. Afterward, I was posted to a center in Tamil Nadu, Chengalpattu. There was about one and a half years. Then I went to Belumat back for the study of scriptures and Ramakrishna Vivekananda literature. About two years extensive study and meditation. Afterward, I was posted to Andhra again, a center known as Raja Mandri, is on the bank of Godavari. Yes. There I worked for about 30 years. 20 years as assistant and another 10 years, last 10 years as a head of the center. Mm. After that, I was transferred to Chengalpattu again. There, about five years I worked. The Chengalpattu center has got four big schools with 5,000 students and everything. It's an education center and rural work, village centers were there all back. Then, mm. after five years, I was posted to Colombo in 2018, July. From that time onward, I am working as the head of the Ramakrishna Mission Sri Lanka in Colombo, taking care of Colombo Center and Batikolo Center and our village centers all together. Thanks, Swamiji. Uh, and uh, if you can tell us uh, the purpose of your visit to Sydney. So, the present purpose has got twofold. The first thing is that organization, Abhya Karam, the holding function every year to help the service activities of Ramakrishna Mission in Sri Lanka and another 
சர்வீஸ் ஆர்கனைஸ் இந்த துர்கா மகளிர் இல்லம் இன் தில்லிப்பளை ஸோ ஆன்வலி தே ஹோல் திஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் அண்ட் தே ஆர் கண்ட்ரிபியூட்டிங் ஃபார் த சர்வீஸ் ஆக்டிவிஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் டூ ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் ஸோ ஒகேஷ்னலி சம் மாங்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்ரீலங்கா வென் அவர் பாசிபிள் தே கம் அண்ட் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் இன் த ஃபங்க்ஷன் So this year, I got an invitation and I came in part of the faction. Along with that, I wanted to meet all the devotees in Australia, those who are interested in Sri Lankan Ramakrishna Mission work. So thereby, I am visiting these four centers, the Vedanta centers in Australia, one by one. First, I visited Melbourne. Now I am in Sydney. Afterward, I will go to Brisbane. then i will go to adelaide from there i will come to Mel- melbourne and i will return to colombo so in the each centers i have got a chance to meet the well wishers and devotees of the these centers and at the same time those who are interested in the sri lankan work mm. so they can consolidate their work yeah and swami ji um, abhayakaram when did you start uh, as a branch of ramakrishna mission and what kind of i saw the website it is uh, really the kind of work that you are doing is absolutely mind boggling and uh, what when did it start and uh, how is it running now so abhayakaram is an independent organization mm-hmm. started by some well wishers to help the ramakrishna mission work in sri lanka it started about 30 years ago the recent function was the 31st year function so some well wishers together they started in a small scale organizing functions and contacting the people through the world and raising funds and contributing to the ramakrishna mission and telipalai durga mahalir illam so for these two organizations they are supporting their independent organization last 30 years they are functioning and is this your first visit to sydney or you have come here before ah huh. this is my first visit to australia so this uh, before that i had never visited these places okay. so, uh, so there are so coming to contact with the monks of this four centers yes, yes. so it is a great opportunity to, to meet them and observe how they are working their their problems their achievements is a whole good le- information and learning for us also and now of course we have all heard of uh, uh, the political as well as uh, economic turmoils in sri lanka it is in the press everywhere has that affected the functioning of the mission yes it has affected a little mm-hmm. that means because of the economic crisis and fuel crisis for a short time we could not move out so it is like a continuation of the corona right. <laughs> corona time also we could not move out so economic crisis also we had to reduce our movements but gradually we have come out mm. now we are functioning as usual but the regular activities all functioned as usual there is no problem for our regular activities only external activities are disturbed but still we maintain the contact with the the distant existing uh, welfare centers and particular centers. they are all functioning as usual with the help of the local volunteers mm. then we to help them by sending the financial help the uh, financial amount to, to them to the bank and they will do the work there so in that way the effect of this economic crisis on us was limited only mm. it not paralyzed but it has reduced a little mm. we had to use different methods oh. different approach yes. to do the work but still we continued the work <laughs> and yeah, have you visited other countries for this abhaya karma and also fundraising functions apart from india and australia no i have not visited any country other than this india and australia ah okay so so do you plan to visit any more countries yes if necessity come in future i can visit places where this type of our migrated that people in diaspora living i can visit and have contact with them and they may help us also mm. yeah because the sri lankan migrants mm. uh, and indian migrants are everywhere in the world yeah. one of the biggest diasporas yeah. so that's why i was wondering to raise funds for abhayakaram this is a good opportunity to visit other countries as well so it depends on the people in those areas if they gather together and invite me then i can go there so first inviting necessary then i can proceed yes, uh, yes. and that's the procedure 
So what are the future plans, uh, Swamiji, of uh, the mission as well as Abhayakaram? So mission plan, in, through Bhattikola Center, we want to help uh, this uh, visually handicapped people. So there are many people visually handicapped staying some place here, but they don't have sufficient infrastructure as using the latest uh, technology for their education and uh, well-beings. Mm. So we have got uh, a center in Tamil Nadu, Ramakrishna Mission Vidyalaya Koyambudur. They have got a specialized wing for this uh, visually handicapped people. With the help uh, and with the help of our particular center, we have set up uh, uh, resources center for these visually handicapped people and that will gradually take up and help these visually handicapped people by providing their latest equipments for their learning and we will provide materials and if uh, anybody is willing they can go to India that Coimbatore again then learn and come here and to teach others in turn and not only that side by side we will have online teaching also with the help of staff available at Coimbatore, they can do online teaching to the students here. And in the upcountry also, there's a lot of work to be done. They are all in backward conditions. So in Kotagala, we have started one welfare center recently. So that has to take shape. Then it will take care of the people of the tea estate, estate workers. They are living in a very primitive condition. They are also will in shape of education, various activities. They call human resource development, like that. Mm -hmm. So the Swami Vivekananda wanted uh, that education must be a total development. And Swami Ranganath Anandji also repeatedly used this terminology that uh, human resource development or human excellence. Mm -hmm. So these estate students, uh, they don't have even the minimum facility to study in many places. So we are going to provide them opportunity to study various topics. Uh, computer education, English education, yoga and health care and surroundings. Uh, the general health care is more important for them. So it's a total development program in that uh, critical area. That also we are taking them. That also requires the help of people in large to develop the center. Mm -hmm. Of course, the messages and the preachings of uh, Ramakrishna as well as Swami Vivekananda is universal. It cuts across race, religion and everything. So. Is the center open for people of all religion? Yes. Our centers are open for all the religions. And in Colombo, we used to observe the celebrations of Buddha Purnima and Jesus Christ, that Christmas Eve, that is the evening prayer to Christmas Day. So these two celebrations we observe. On the day, we invite a Buddhist monk for the Vesak and Christian father for the Christmas Eve celebration, mm -hmm. they give discourses. So in that way, we are trying to maintain a religious harmony among the public. Yes. And whoever conducts a religious harmony meeting, there we also go and attend. In our shrine, we have got the portraits of Jesus and Buddha also. And the Vedic line depicting the harmony of religion, Ekam Sat Vipra Bahuda Vadanti. The truth is one, sages call it by various names, is written in our shrine. Those who come, they can see the line, understand. Our center stands for religious harmony. Mm. Uh, if I see the, some of the activities here, for example, in Sydney and Australia in general, they conduct uh, yoga conferences, international yoga conferences, and also various other discourses from time to time. Uh, with the help of the High Commission as well as the Indian Consulate. Do you have such activities uh, like yoga conferences and other activities in your center? We have yoga classes, but we have not conducted yoga conferences. But International Yoga Day is conducted by the Indian High Commission in Colombo. So that's the function we also go and participate. Mm. And uh, of course you have come to Australia for the first time you have seen and your impressions and also uh, your advice to the people who want to come and help, uh, especially Abhayakaram, what kind of message you want to give out? Here people in larger 
they have got very much interest in the Ramakrishna mission activity, that is the Vedanta Centre activities. They want to learn many things. Their interest is manifold. So they want to learn particularly Bhagavad Gita or Upanishads and everything. At the same time, they want to help. So the helping nature is there that I can observe. This is a good sign that they want to help the needy wherever, in any part of the world. So they can come forward to help directly or through the center for the welfare work done by Ramakrishna Mission or Abhayakaram through Ramakrishna Mission or they can help time to time, so occasionally and directly they can contact us also. If they can contact us, we shall give you more details and they can participate in this uh, Mahayajna mm. on a service. Yes, yes. Is there a website or a, a Facebook page or something like that people can contact if they want to donate to, uh, to this wonderful cause? Yes, we have got a uh, uh, website. Mm -hmm. So we are maintained the website. In that we have got all the details. They can contact and through the com. Mm. Actually, the Belumat website uh, that contains the website of all the centers. Oh. So, if they go to the Belmont website, eh, they can see the Sri Lankan website also. Oh, okay. So, uh, that will give you all the uh, details. Uh, they can through that they can contact us and do the contribution, whatever it is. Swami Aksharat Manandaji, thank you very much for talking to us today, and uh, I'm sure your uh, visit to other centers in Australia will be successful, and we hope to receive you again and see you again in Australia. Yes, thank you very much for giving opportunity to express our views to the public in Australia.